Is this something that we can find ourselves or other It's estimated that 60% of high school students who suffer with a mental health disorder do not graduate. But this year, 18 students who were part of the Magruder High School Enhanced Social Emotional Support Services program have collected their diploma. I think that this is probably the most amazing thing that's happened to me so far in my life. Sarah Kessler is one of those graduates. She had dealt with a series of bullying and trauma at her home school that led to depression and anxiety. She was skipping school and her grades plummeted. Her junior year, she enrolled in the Magruder program. Of course, reluctant because I hate change so much. The um, only one of its kind in Montgomery County. She'll tell you with the program, she's blossomed. They are really accepting here and they also help you by um, implementing you into mainstream classes, which is the classes in the regular um, school. Eventually they help you go for, you know, how it is in the future without program. And I really think that this has been a very positive thing for me. She's so much happier. She wants to go to school. You know, there are days where Sarah can't sleep, and we live, uh, I just clocked it, 18 miles from here, and you know, obviously 40 minute to an hour trip in the morning. But she'll get up an hour late and say, I really want to go to school, which means I drive her, and I'm happy to because she has that commitment where in the past Sarah would battle Against school. The basic foundation of the program is typically a student who starts with us comes and they are 100% self-contained in this program and that's because we're hitting that reset button. Most of our students have been avoidant for a period of time of school, um, have high anxiety, um, are definitely feeling not self-confident about coming to school and so this coming in here and just being in program is so that they can get the coping skills, the support and the relationships that they need to feel good about coming to school every single day. The Magruder program began in 2015 as a way to reduce the number of students who were receiving private placement. The first year, there were eight students. This year, there are close to 50, and there's a waiting list to get in. Because most of our students are not academically impacted students. These are students who are truly dealing with social emotional health. Um, and so they're getting IEPs late. Um, I've even had seniors um, who've come in for just their senior year just so that they can finish up high school. The classes are in a self-contained setting located within Magruder High School. There is a full-time clinical social worker, small classes, and qualified special education teachers. On Friday, students travel to the Kingsley Environmental Center to participate in project-based learning. The program is tailored to meet individual students' needs in a way that each of them can be successful. I really tell students, you're in the driver's seat. It's what you need, what you need to be successful. We don't want to push you into having to do anything that you're not ready to do. And I think that's what makes students feel comfortable. They're not being pushed to do it. It's really their decision of when they're ready. On our visit to Magruder, school and government officials listened as I parents will, and students. I've been able to become a successful high school student who were part of this initiative, shared stories about the positive transformations that this program has been able to affect. When uh, young people have emotional issues, they, they are not playing. And this program mm -hmm. made a difference because we found here understanding. We found here uh, the time that the teachers and everybody else that is part of the program had dedicated to these children. Paul Bash's son, Andrew, did not attend one day of classes in 10th grade. He was so desperate to get him help, he had him hospitalized. And that was probably the low point. But things got much better for the Bash family. We're at a meeting at Sherwood, another one. More well-meaning people on the other side of the table, talking, and Miss Eccleston's there. Miss E, as Andrew affectionately likes to call her. And uh, she... <laughs> Describe this program. And uh, I thought, where the hell has that been? <laughs> <laughs> it's like exactly what we need. Andrew excelled. He took AP classes, graduated, and plans to study computer science at the University of Maryland. Along with parents, there were students who shared about their experience with the Magruder program, including Michelle Awkward. At my previous high school, social anxiety and depression totally consumed me. I had school anxiety and honestly dreaded going to school every morning so much that I rarely went. 
The environments were not supportive and extremely stressful. It, you know, provided her a lot of hope, a lot of confidence, uh, a very, very supportive environment. Uh, from from day one, really, mm -hmm. and it was such a dramatic, positive change mm -hmm. for Michelle. When I came to Magruder, that all changed. The teachers and staff were so supportive and genuine. I was going to school every day. It was no longer something that I dreaded. After receiving eight offers, Michelle is planning to attend Salisbury University this fall. Craig Rice chairs the Montgomery County Just Council's Education Committee. This is a place, as I say, of love. And learning. And that's he says these types of resources need to be looked at for expansion. We need to do more uh, in meeting the needs of our kids throughout the county, having a regionalistic approach. Uh, and having the option and ability to have different kinds of environments to choose to be able to meet the needs of your child is, I think, what you're asking for sheer number of students that they're able to accommodate and the waiting list that they have for this program means that we want to open up access to more kids who we know would be able to benefit from the particulars of this program. You're at the forefront. You're going to be part of the folks along with Miss E and Dr. Evans who are creating this program and getting this started and you're going to be the ones who are responsible for helping this program to grow and helping to help more people. We, we need our students to know um, that we care, that we're there for them, and we want them to be successful beyond high school, just to be able to have a chance at life. Um, so I am not making any promises, but I'm definitely saying that we got to look at and see how we can do more of what's happening here at Magruder High School. He's diligent and he works so hard to maintain having good grades. But for Kristen Eccleston, one of the best parts of creating this learning environment is watching the students who once struggled to fit in find a place where they can be themselves. I have students, almost every student, who's in this program who's been hospitalized at one point in time, who had no peer connections, that were feeling very lost at school, and then they come here and they're in a program or a space with everybody who's been through the same thing as them, who's been to the hospital. I've even had students who've walked in and they're like, hey, and I'm like, how do you know that other student? And they're like, oh, we were in the hospital together. And it's they're able to make these connections and feel comfortable with peers because they're not that odd man out. They're not that kid who that thing happened to that everyone's talked about. It's a fresh start with peers who understand where they're coming from. And that is the stuff that's most important to me for them to be able to be typical high school students and get to experience those things with peers, with friends, to have friends to call. And I, I just I love that. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.